The first moment I realized that I was uh, black was, I think, in kindergarten. Um, my mother was in the U.S. and I was in kindergarten in Mexico. And I remember the teacher, she was going through um, like a list of animals. Um, it was a children's book and I remember her going to a monkey and then pointing at me and saying that the monkey looked like me and everybody started laughing and I had no idea what was going on, but I knew that there was something off. And it wasn't until I got a little bit um, older that I realized that that was the first moment where I experienced like racialized violence in Mexico. And in my mind, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not just indigenous, like I'm a black Indian. That was Mexico City, I'm from Oaxaca. And whenever I would go to Oaxaca, I felt that I belonged there. Um, and obviously because I come from a predominantly black pueblo, <laughs> there's such a rich history of resistance between black and indigenous peoples there that I won't be this question mark everywhere I go. I used to ask my mom, like, okay, well, are we like descendants from like plantations or are we descendants from like folks who ran away or like where are we from? And she wouldn't know, my grandmother wouldn't know either. Uh, but there was an understanding that um, we were from somewhere else and that was just kind of like the place where we're at now. Latinidad in the US has been about um, unifying. People, uh, primarily Spanish-speaking people from the connected Latin American countries and some parts of the Caribbean. Um, and because it's about unity, it doesn't allow us to talk about the nuances and how we came to be in different places. It refuses to talk about the slave trade. It refuses to talk about indentured um, servants from China, from Japan. And because it's so focused on right now, it dehistoricizes all of us. When you're living in a country where Blackness and indigeneity is the one thing that nobody wants to be and Black and Indigenous people choose to love each other, um, it's just like, fuck. I am literally a descendant for people who have interrupted empire every single day of their lives. To celebrate Blackness means to know that empire failed. Being a Black person, means that you're always having to build worlds. Uh, because the world that one inhabits as a Black person, primarily in a colonized country, is a world that necessitates like our elimination. And I think that um, the reason why I'm able to really be and navigate in my Blackness is because I have also learned how to build worlds because of my queerness. I'm on the trans spectrum, and I think as a person who's non-binary, that is like also a world-building experience. And I think that if it wasn't for Black, queer, and trans folk from Latin America and the Caribbean, I wouldn't have like the language that I have today. And yeah, like Black for me is queer, and like there's no way you can ever separate them. Mm -hmm.